Hi, it's Guy DiMartino. I'm a Northwest Indiana state planning and probate lawyer. If you have any questions about an Indiana state plan and would like to sit down and have a strategy session, you can go to indianastatemeeting.com. Uh, we can set up an appointment by phone. We can set up an appointment in person at the office, or we can set up an appointment uh, by video conference if that's something that you want to do. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about why it's pretty important to direct your healthcare representative and to list the healthcare representative in your durable power of attorney. See, in Indiana, we have a a number of statutes that work together in order to give powers to folks to make health care decisions if you aren't able to make health care decisions. Under Title 16, we have the health care representative or health care proxy law. And under Title 30, we can do it under uh, the power of attorney. Uh, why is it better to put it under the power of attorney uh, is this. Uh, under the health care proxy law, uh, or the, you as the health care representative, really do not have legal standing to act on uh, the person's behalf. You can help uh, make decisions for their health care based on that document, but if the hospital disagrees with you or the doctor won't follow your wishes, you know, you're pretty much uh, stuck with that. On the other hand, if you are the attorney of fact and, and, and you have been given uh, health care powers under the durable power of attorney statute, you have the ability to take the matter to court. And you have the ability to take the hospital's feet and put their uh, feet to the coals and put it to the fire. Same thing with a health care provider. So if there's some dispute where you believe something should be done or something shouldn't be done, uh, and the hospital disagrees with you or the doctor disagrees with you, you can take it to the third party. You can take it to the court and say, uh, Judge, we believe this should be done. We believe this shouldn't be done for these reasons. So under uh, power of attorney, you have much more legal authority to act on the patient's behalf. If you have any questions about an Indiana state matter, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.